Alright, so in this video what I wanted to do was give you the rundown of Flipgrid and how you can set up your Flipgrid account uh, using your Google login and set up your first lid for your students to start recording their own videos and you to uh, give them video feedback as well. Great way to interact with them on a much different level and sort of get a face-to-face -face feel for the classroom and check in on each person. So we're going to start off pretty easily. We're going to go to um, www.flipgrid.com You're going to click on up in the top right hand corner. Uh, now I'm going to click on educator login, but educator sign up will work just fine. Uh, you're going to end up logging in with your Google account. Uh, everything's already linked, so you can just do a Google login. So I'm going to go ahead and select my Eastern York login. And it's preparing my Flipgrid experience. Now I've been using Flipgrid for a little while. Um, and you'll see that I have three flip grids set up. The first thing that you're going to want to do is set up your grid for your classes. So I'm going to click on add a new grid. Okay, I'm going to call this um, sort of test computer science. All right. Um, grid types that make it easier to control. Uh, so you can set it up where students join using their Google login. Now, since we are a, a Google Apps for Educators, since we are all Google, um, Flipgrid code, uh, which is going to be sort of the name of this, um, I'm just going to call it Test Computer Science. All right. Now it will tell you if it's available or not. This is just a unique URL that you can share with your students um, to log in and set up their Flipgrid account. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press Next. Okay. I can add a school email. Uh, we don't need to do this again uh, because. You are, we're, we're going to link this so students can sign up on their own. So I'm going to go ahead and press next. Okay, so uh, share the Flipgrid code below with your students. If you're using Google Classroom, we have Google Classroom right here. You can automatically, it'll create a post for you in Google Classroom. We're using Canvas for me. Uh, so I'm going to either embed the code or just typically I just copy the link that's here and post it for my students to see. They're able to sign up for our grid then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy the link. I can also send it through the Remind app. Uh, if any of you are using Remind, it's a great messaging tool to use with students, parents, uh, other teachers as well. Uh, it's totally private, but again, we're not talking about Remind in this one. So I'm going to go to my grid and you set up various topics. Okay, so your overall grid itself is for the entire class to view. Um, and then your topics or your individual topics where you want students to uh, start posting their videos to. So uh, I usually start out with the say hello to Flipgrid um, or just say hello or introduce yourself. Uh, but you can create your own topics as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new topic to show you. Click add a new topic. I'm going to, I can call this um, introduce yourself. Okay, recording time. Uh, you can set up and as many uh, minutes or seconds that you want these recordings to be. Sometimes, just a good rule of thumb here, uh, if you want them to be concise with their answers and really put thought into how they're narrating whatever their solution is or uh, providing feedback to each other or uh, analyzing a story and you want it to be concise, keep your, keep your time short. All right, so I can add a question. Uh, please introduce yourself to the rest of the class and share um, your favorite food and any other important information. You can record a video. I, I always record a sample video so they know what my expectation is and I participate in every single discussion as well. Um, but you can add other videos, uh, you can add other lesson materials as well, you can add a Kahoot in, um, emojis for fun. So there's a lot of different options that you can explore, but this is the basic uh, setup for the topic. So I'm going to set this up. Um, I can again assign it to Google Classroom, I can embed the code into Canvas or any other uh, website that I'm using. Um, or I can just copy the link or we provide a QR code. So there's multiple ways that you can share these with your students for them to access. I'm going to click on all set and that's it. Okay, so my introduce myself uh, topic is good to go. I have zero responses right now and as students start to populate their responses, they will show up here and show you just an example of, of what it looks like. 
Okay, so I'll show you what mine is right here. It shows video. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a, a, a question in the comments section.